Hello there. Um, date today is 1st of April and as you can tell the beard has grown. Um, I've not been able to do anything for two weeks as I've not had a car to be able to get over to my parents house. Um, so today I have uh, got here obviously um, and I have completely sanded down the next three set of drawers. I'm literally just about to clean them um, and then while they're drying I need to go and fix the stairs in my parents' house because they've pulled some of the uh, struts, um, I forgot what they call them. Um, yeah, pulled a couple of the struts out from the staircase, great. So, because I do a little bit of woodwork now, sorry about the wobbly camera, um, they uh, want me to see if I can fix that, which shouldn't be too bad, I just need to use some wood sealant and stick them back in. Um, but yeah, I am literally about to um, clean the next three sets of drawers. So I'm covered in wood dust, I've got it in my ears and everything. Um, and once they've dried, I'm going to be sticking the next coat, or not the next, their first coat of varnish on. Um, and I have decided as well, um, not that I can see it, I have decided as well that uh, once I've put a coat of varnish on, on the whole thing, when, when it's, see it's dried, what I'm then going to do is, let's see if I can do this a bit better with the camera, what I'm then going to do is not put any more coats on the sides, right? Uh, which means I'm going to have to work out a way to be very precise just on the notches down the side because I am going to put another two coats of um, mahogany varnish um, on the front uh, so basically the whole drawer you've got a big close put my lips there the whole drawer is going to get um, one coat of the mahogany varnish uh, and then the fronts are going to get an extra two coats of varnish and then I've bought some clear varnish which is for the table uh, that I sh I've shown already um, yeah so I've got some clear varnish for the table and I'm thinking I'm going to put a coat of clear varnish on. The only thing is, I don't know with that whether I just put that on the fronts of the drawers or the whole thing. It'll help in the fact that the sides of the drawers have only got one coat of uh, mahogany varnish. Uh, so it'd work out the sides would have two coats in total and the front would have four. Um, but I'm not sure. I might just do the clear varnish on the front but then it might not look right so I'm, I'm not entirely sure how which way around I'm going to do that but I do want to put a, um, a coat of clear varnish on to really try and make this uh, glisten make it shine um, now it also said that obviously I haven't been on uh, I haven't been able to do anything for a couple of weeks and you know I found it quite um, stressful uh, it's been building up the tension but Having said that, something odd has happened. Uh, as I've said before, I've been through a lot of a lot of shit through the last uh, four years, and I know on the, one of the, my videos I mentioned that things had started to turn around a little bit, but I'm just waiting for the next thing to go wrong, and I still am. But I got a bit of a surprise uh, last week, which was um, I happened to go to my bank account to go and. Like, I knew in my bank account there was like a tenner. So I was going to go and buy some loo roll, some milk, um, and uh, five pounds worth of electric. So I get to the cash machine, put my card in, and there's two grand in the bank. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm thinking, okay, this must there must be some something's wrong here. Um, this is unusual. Um, so... Straight away, obviously, I pull out uh, about 50 quid, and instead of just buying loo roll and milk and sugar, I did a handful of shopping and bought myself some treats um, and had a Chinese. <laughs> um, oh, fuck it, why cook when I can order a Chinese? Um, and when I got home, actually, uh, I checked the mailbox, and I got a letter to do with my benefits to say that um, they were paying me some arrears, which is what the money had come from. And I was like, okay, that explains that. Okay, this is still unusual. I didn't know how... Sorry, my hands are getting tired. I didn't know how to uh, cope with, with that. I was like, it was too much. I've been through so much shit. And then all of a sudden, it's like, okay, here's, here's someone. 
Um, and because I didn't have a car for, for two weeks, it became very clear to me um, that I need the mobility. Um, so I decided that that's what I was going to use the money on um, to get myself a car. Which means I spent the last few days searching the internet, driving around places and not found the car that I'm looking for. I found a couple that are close, um, but they're diesels and I'm, I'm after a petrol because I don't do a lot of miles. Um, and it works out better in petrol rather than diesel if you're not doing a lot of miles. So yeah, um, been an odd, very odd week. And the thing is, I've been trying to not get too excited about having a bit of money in the bank. Um, I mean, to be fair, I've been fairly sensible. Well, sorry, fairly sensible. Um, I've paid my bills um, and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm not behind on anything that I can think of. Um, I haven't been done, done any food shopping because today's the first day I've, I've had the car. So I've not had a chance to go and do a proper food shop. Um, so yeah, it's all been a bit odd and I've been trying to ignore the fact that there's money in the bank account, otherwise I'm, I'm afraid that I'll just go and fucking spend it. Now, admittedly, I have spent a little bit of it, um, on myself. Um, for example, the last time I had a bit of money come through as arrears, first thing I did was went and bought clothes because I didn't, I only literally had one pair of tracky bottoms that fitted, one short pair of shorts that fitted and about four or five t-shirts that fitted me because I put so much weight on in the time from um, having no money. So I couldn't afford to buy clothes and stuff like that. So um, when I got that money, I went straight out and spent a couple hundred quid just on buying clothes um, and that was it. Um, which was again an odd situation um, because when you're not been used to that it is odd and even Christmas uh, this year first year where I've been able to buy stuff for the family and it was odd I didn't know how to cope with that because the last three Christmases had been so shit that it that had kind of become the norm like shit and depressing had become the norm um so having an enjoyable one was very difficult to cope with mentally really um, but at the same time obviously much better um so anyway yeah i mean i've mentioned before that doing these units it, it is kind of a therapy for me so not being able to do anything on it for two weeks um i have been sort of itching at the bit so to speak um although annoyingly my fucking lid on my toolbox broke um and there's a specific style of toolbox I'm after. Not that I've found one, um, but basically a two-piece toolbox, a bottom box and a top box, that have both got their own lids, but they are also both connectable so that you can use them, like you can pull them along like a trolley. Because the last thing I want to be trying to do is carry fucking toolboxes around. Um, but yeah, the lid fell off. Um, well, it didn't fall off, it broke off. So now... I I might have to get another toolbox. Um, although my dad has given me an old one of his, which I could put stuff in, um, which I might have to do for now. Um, anyway, so what else am I going to be up to today? Yeah, like I said, I'm going to I'll just show you these uh, these three drawers. Um, they're all sanded, ready to be cleaned, which I'm going to do as soon as I've finished doing this recording. Uh, I've then got the last three sets of drawers, or last three drawers to do, which that's going to be at least next week um, before I, I crack on sanding them. But to be honest, I've pushed myself today um, to get these three drawers fully sanded down and in a way I now need to push myself again and this is the difficult bit. I'm absolutely exhausted um my back is on the way uh on the way out so i've got to be careful but that's why i'm going to go and see if i can sort my parents stairs out because if i do that and that's it i'm done then at least i've done as much as uh i've done the minimum of what i need to do um however i would like to get these three drawers with their first coat of varnish on because once those three are done with that coat of varnish, it leaves me three more drawers to do, which hopefully I can try and get done in one session again. And then I'm on to sanding down uh, the main unit. And 
that shouldn't be too difficult to do the outside but doing the inside could be a bit of a pain in the arse um, but it's the sanding that's real that's a real ball ache um, it's very physical very noisy very dirty very dusty um, but once I've got that sanded down at least then it is literally only varnishing and some very light sanding um, between varnishes to do so yeah it's coming on quite nicely um, the drawers that I put a set of varnish on previously they're looking quite tidy so you get close to putting underneath my nose yeah they're looking quite tidy uh, I mean, I'll show you them actually uh, I mean they're sitting next to uh, well sitting on the main unit uh, but yeah they're looking quite smart um, and the old unit obviously I don't know if you can see it too well uh, but the old unit is definitely in need of work uh, which is one of the things that we will be doing anyway so right time to stop waffling and time to uh, get these drawers cleaned so see how we get on okay so I am done for the day I've managed to get these three all varnished up uh, with their first coat and I must admit looking very nice so I'm not doing the backs but or the bottoms um but yeah i've literally only just finished these so uh they're still a bit damp um but i'm knackered so that is going to be me done for today oh because i have pushed myself too much i have done too much uh so yeah so i ain't doing any more I'm exhausted. Uh, I've no idea what the time is. It's started getting dark outside now, so I'm guessing it's going to be well, somewhere around half eight, half eight maybe. <sighs> so, yeah, so I'm knackered. But it's a step further. I mean, this is one of the things about doing this. This is that it absolutely knackers me out. It's killing me. The more I've done, uh the quicker or better i've got at doing stuff even things like the sanding the temptation is to move a sander as quick as you can like forward to backwards forward to back but if if you move well from what i'm thinking if you move it too fast it doesn't really get to sand anything so you can use a load of energy and accomplish nothing um so yeah Working out how to best use your tools is a good thing. Um, I've already I've been and fixed the stairs at my parents' house. We'll see how long they last. I had to. They were basically held the struts are held in by paint, um, which is a bit of a surprise, really. So I've had to do a bit of work on that. Um, we'll see how long they last. I'm not expecting it to last very long. Um, no, my dad will probably get home from going out this evening and not even think about it, grab one, and uh, it won't have hardened yet, but anyway. But yeah, my drawers are done, I'm knackered, I'm hungry, uh, I'm thirsty, uh, but I feel better for having done something today that isn't searching for cars or sitting looking at the same four walls. I do feel better for that today. I'm going to suffer for it, but I do feel better for it. Um... What this means as well is that I'm now down to only having three drawers left to sand and looking at it, I think all three have already had a previous sanding some time ago. Um, one of them has barely been touched though, so that will be my next challenge um, uh, when I'm here next to get those three sanded down, cleaned, first coat. Um, and it's interesting because I sit here and I'm looking at the, the rest of the unit and obviously it's looking worn and tatty and it needs help. And it's bugging me because I can see how much better the drawers are looking. So it's bugging me because I'm like, that needs doing. I've got to do that. I need to do that. Uh, I want to do that now, but I can't do that now because for me to do that now means that I wouldn't get the drawers done. So that that's kind of the mentality that goes or the, the mindset that's going on in my head. It's like, I want to do that. I need to get that done. I want to do that now, but I can't do that now. It's a little bit like uh, 
Captain Sparrow with his compass. What do you really want? Oh, well, I want to get that done. Ah, yes, but to get that done, you need to get the drawers done. So what you really want is to get the drawers done. Yeah, true. Um, so, yeah. Right, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to end this video. It's starting to get cold. I'm wearing shorts and uh, I don't want to end up getting ill uh, with a cold or anything like that. So, yeah, um, as you can see, I'm a bit red faced. Um, it's not sunburn. Uh, it's, this has absolutely done me in. So, yeah, I'm going to finish there. Uh, so, yeah, see ya.